had no history of violence but had money troubles in his past. Our Daryl Huff examined the killer's background and his public life in health care. Harris Otis chiropractic office was on the 13th floor of the Pan Am building. His social media marketing and our review of public records give no indication that he was capable of a homicidal rampage. Hi, this is Dr. Oda, and we're going to be adjusting Luke here, who has a lot of neck pain and neck problems because of the fact that he would sleep with too many pillows. Multiple videos on the company Facebook page project friendly competence and show a number of healing practices and even a sense of humor. Wait, ready, go. Today we'll be adjusting this patient. Yeah. Oda had one brush with crime on Kauai way back in 1997 in his late teens. A tampering charge similar to trespassing erased from his record for good behavior. Tax records show Oda and his wife Daoka bought their four-bedroom home on a 7,500-foot lot on Wa'aloa Place for about a million dollars in 2013. The city appraisal is almost $1.7 million this year. That's equity that Oda may have needed to save his practice. In March of 2021, the owner of this building on Kaheka Street sued Oda and his company for about $90,000 in unpaid rent and fees going back more than three years. Documents show Oda stopped paying rent in December of 2017 on the fourth floor offices and continued to build debt through the pandemic at about $2,500 a month. The eviction case settled in December 2021 when Oda agreed to pay $57,000. For a time at the Kaheka office, Oda's brother Aries, also a chiropractor, joined him in the practice. Today at the Pan Am office, the brother's phone numbers were on the notice that said the office was closed due to a family emergency. Even though his move from the Kaheka Street building to the Pan Am was a significant upgrade, it doesn't appear that he's had any serious financial problems that could explain what happened. Reporting from Kaheka Street, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.